I put out some Modbus TCP videos for both the Compact Logics and Micro 800 PLC on how to configure them both as a client and a server. And I got the two terms swapped. And actually, I swapped them in one article. I have corrected an article, but I figure I need to make a video and make sure that we have these terms clear. And so if you're using a network such as DeviceNet or a lot of the serial networks, it was master and slave. And hierarchically, because I, I talked to the last two classes about this, and I'm like, man, I get it now. But even then, they, they're like, yeah, you're right. We think of it backwards, too. Hierarchically, we just think of the master and then the slave down here. And then we go to server client, and we kind of flip-flop. We think it's the server as the big computer in our IT network, and we're the little clients down here. Neither of those is really the right way to think about it. In the old master-slave type networks, the master makes a request to the slave and the slave responds. That's it. It's not a matter of hierarchical at all. So the same thing in the client server, the client makes a request and the server responds. And I think that's the cleanest way to put this. The actual data on a master-slave relationship is in the slave. It's the one that holds the data and it serves it up to the master. On the client server, the server holds the data and the client makes a request and it serves it up. So client equals master and slave equals server. And I am very sorry for those of you who I confused on that. Hey, if you're curious about those Modbus videos, then here's a playlist that includes them. Click here to follow me over there.